from a lack of contingency plans for typhoons and natural disasters to an implementation of the port's schedule, senators picked apart the master plan of Guam's only port. Lawmakers did, however, approve an amendment to distinguish the work that would only be needed for the realignment of the 8,000 Marines to Guam and separate projects not affected by the military buildup. But another provision in the bill, which allows the authority to lease government property for up to 20 years to private companies, is also raising objections. Senator Judy Guthards. Again, this port has never come to this legislature for any lease beyond five years. And to me, that's a manifestation of perhaps the legarthy on the board's part. It's not that hard. We do it all the time. But it's up to the board to use its leadership to market the port. If no action is taken on the bill before the legislature by Sunday, the plan will be adopted without input from the lawmaking body.